Before we continue, a short commercial message, just like everyone else does it. Only mine are self-serving. I'm not selling vitamins and other crazy things like life insurance. So be sure and watch already published tips number 917 on these beautiful Kennedy boxes. It's about a 20 minute video. It's already on YouTube. You will love it. And watch in the very near future. This is January 3rd, 2024. But watch in the very near future for tips number 931 plus five more videos in that series on the beautiful little Manson Micro Lays. You're going to love this. And I'll put a real brief picture of that on the screen right now and then a clip of it toward the end of this video. End of commercial. Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, and I have a very interesting video for you today. Tell your friends about it. I'm going to discuss in detail the virtues and advantages of keyless drill chucks. And also in the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Jacob's ball bearing super chucks, which are the next best thing to heaven. So let's begin. I do not own a whole lot of the wonderful German Albrecht keyless chucks, but one, two, three, four, five I do own, plus three other assorted quality keyless chucks, and then these are the super chucks. But before I get into detail here, we're going to step over to the closing lathe, and I'm going to, <laughs> this is crazy, I know, I'm going to time myself and I'm going to change drill bits in a regular chuck and, and then with a keyless chuck and let's see what the difference in time is. So that's the main advantage of that. Plus you're not looking around for the chuck key which you constantly, which I constantly lose. Let's have a little friendly competition here. You know America loves sports and competitiveness. I don't, but most Americans do. So here is my stopwatch and I'm going to install a quarter inch and then a larger bit. And let's see what happens. Start, put in the quarter and then of course tighten it if you can find the chuck key. Alright, now I want to change it. Working as fast as I can. And stop. And that took, can you see, about 22 seconds. All right, let me set it up with the Albrecht. And now for the Albrecht keyless. Start. And the quarter inch bit. All right, do my drilling, take it out, and let's put in the half. And stop. And it's 15, you can't see that, 15 seconds approximately. And the winner is, and not by as big a margin as I imagine, the Albrecht Chuck. You know what, I've already determined that the video will be too long if I include the Super Chucks. So the Jacob's Ball Bearing Chucks will be the subject of another video if you can take it. Most all of you are familiar with keyless chucks because they put keyless chucks on virtually all cordless drills now, but these are absolutely worthless. But remember that this chuck probably costs four dollars to make as opposed to four, three or four hundred dollars. So they really can't put an Albrecht on here. So they put a plastic chuck on there and they're semi good, especially if you're just drilling wood eighth inch holes into soft pine. Then it won't slip, but of course, just try that with a half inch drill in steel. I'm going to talk about genuine German Albrecht chucks first, and then I'll switch over to these other brands of keyless chucks, which are also high quality, but, and I don't know how much they cost, but it won't be nearly as much as the Albrecht, and I will be showing you prices on this later in the video. I thought I had more Albrecht chucks than what you see right here, so there's only a total of five of them. These are the 
two large ones and then let's talk about the little ones as well and remember there are two of them here on my little Cameron drill presses. If anyone from Germany is actually watching this please leave me a comment. You don't have to say anything just, said, I, just say I'm from Germany. I would be interested in knowing. But here is a superb example of German engineering and craftsmanship. And that is the name that I have been talking about here the last few minutes. And this chuck has a capacity of up to 5.8. So that's one of the bigger ones. This particular one is, if I can find it here, from 0 to 3.8. And I guess that's in millimeters there. Also, Germany. Nice crisp knurls here and here. You can get any kind of shank you want on, on them, of course. And then finally, this tiny one here. This is, I believe, the smallest one that they make. And I only acquired this one very recently. You saw that in an auction video. So there's an Albrook. And it'll, i got to put the glasses on. We'll go from, I don't know what. We'll have to look it up in the catalog. I will put a still picture of this page in the McMaster car catalog of the Albrecht Chucks for those that are interested in the pricing and the sizes. Okay, I just priced out these Chucks for you and I'm giving you the catalog number as well if you can see it. Now the smallest one there is the C15-JO and that's $541. The 3 8 this is 1 16th capacity. The 3 8 is the C100-J2 at $459. And the large one is C160-J6 for $569. Now the J-O there, or the J numbers, refer to the Jacobs taper in the end. So this has a Jacobs Zero taper. This one of course, uh, Jacobs 2 and a Jacobs 6. Now I left out the the one that's on the camera on there, the eighth inch capacity. Let me show you that real quickly. Now I didn't show you yet. This again is the number zero that goes up to one sixteenth. The next larger size goes up to an eighth. But they've reduced the price by about $100 to $445. So this is $541. This is $445. Very handy to have those little keyless chucks on these micro drills. You've seen me use these often, I'm sure. Also in the catalog is a picture of the spare parts that you can purchase at modest prices. Now, modest, uh, I ex it would be outrageously expensive, but and would, they would be difficult to install, so do not bother. Here's a short description of Albrook Chucks out of the catalog, if I can read it. A self-tightening design causes these chucks to grip tighter as torque increases which prevents tool shank slippage and allows for precise drilling. This is the one I like to use in the Bridgeport Mill, so I've got a straight shank there, half inch. And when you tighten, you can hold one knurl and then twist against it. But, however, when it's on the mill or any other machine that has a brake, I just like to step on the brake, you know, and, and then you can tighten this as tight as you can. And believe me, they won't come loose. If they're in good condition. So they are an amazing drill chuck. Again, I'm mesmerized by the perfection of these tools. There are several things I do not like about these, and here's one example. These are eighth inch drills. So if I put this one in, watch how far it will go into the chuck. Matter of fact, way onto the flutes, whereas that isn't true at all with the Albrecht. And that can be a little annoying if you're worried about the distance. However, you can use stubby drill bits as well. Furthermore, the chucks themselves are much longer. For instance, 
This is the length. I don't know, I'm not going to measure it, but I'm just comparing here. Compare it to the, the little Jacob chuck of the same capacity. You can see that this one is about an inch longer, which can be problematic on a milling machine where you, you do not want to keep raising and lowering the table. Let's take a look at the two Cameron drill presses for comparison. The one on the left has the eighth inch model of the Albrecht truck. The one on the right has the sixteenth inch capacity, which I've already talked about. And you can see the difference in uh, size of the chucks. And this is a sixteenth inch bit. That's a one eighth inch bit. I already told you the maximum size drill bit. Let me tell you the minimum size. This little chuck will hold drills as small as eight thousandths. This one as small as fifteen thousandths. Eight thousandths. My hair is three thousandths. So the eighth inch capacity chuck is the C30-JO. J0 maybe $445. $100 cheaper than this one. It takes quite a few more spins on the Albrecht chuck to close it and get that tightness than it does on a regular Jacobs chuck with a key. Jacobs made keyless chucks as well. These are the only ones I've ever seen, so they must be fairly rare. And they call them the Portomatic. I don't know why, but there is the name right there, Portomatic. Can you see it? It even tells you what direction to use to open it because you do not want to put a channel lock on these. And it's made in USA. I thought maybe they were imported. I haven't used these very often because I got so many chucks and I just like the looks and feel of the genuine Albrecht so much better. These must be older chucks because now I'm looking in a 1992 Jacobs catalog and they have a whole page here on keyless chucks and they look nothing like the ones that I'm showing you right here. So they must have made a design change, or possibly these are imports here. I'm not going to read this because I don't think anybody would be interested because I'm only marginally interested in myself. And one last chuck to show you, and it looks very similar to the Jacobs, but this is a ROM. Now ROM at one time was, I believe, Supreme or Rigid or something like that. I, don't, I do not know how old this one is. But it's also a 3 8 capacity and it's made in West Germany. Looks like some abuse on this, like somebody just had to put a pliers or something on it, doesn't it? If they are over tightened, I tell you, you are going to have a heck of a time getting them loose. So if you do have that problem, wrap a piece of leather or copper or lead or something like that around the canural and use a very large bubba sized channel lock and you will get it loose but don't do that on the bare uh, neural only bubba would do that well i hope you enjoyed this little video on keyless chucks be sure and watch for a future video where I talk about the ball bearing super chucks made by Jacobs. Also a wonderful, wonderful product. Be sure and watch all my other videos. Give me a thumb up if I deserve it. And I'll see you next time. And make sure you watch those videos. Didn't mean to shake my finger. Be sure and watch those videos on the little micro lathes, the Manson lathes. There are six videos coming up on that. See you soon.
and also in the original mahogany box here and you can still see the name Manson I don't know if Charlie's dad made these or what but anyway in the little box here is a complete accessory kit now I think there's a few things that do not belong in here but this essentially belongs with the smaller one I don't know if there was a kit for this or not for the bit for the duo lathe there were some other models too which I don't want to talk about because I don't know anything about them but in here as you can see there's a four jaw chuck some face plates collets lathe dogs and there will be a separate video going through this as well